Hello and welcome to the second week of Larry's Fairies, the series where you learn about animals and learn how to pronounce your teacher's name. So for this week's animal, we will once again approach, approach through the classification. So we're in Kingdom Animalia, which is a feature about animals. Phylum Chordata, we have vertebrates once again. Class Mammalia, so today, just like last week's uh, black bear, today's Larry's Furry is a mammal, it's a furry creature, in fact. Order carnivora. So once again, we're dealing with the mammals that that eat meat. So family Mustelidae this time. So mustelids are our small, small and vicious hunters. Uh, the, the weasels, the badgers, the, the wolverines, and of course this week's animal, Mustela and the gripes, the black-footed ferret. So black-footed ferret. As I said, these are small and tough. So length only about 20 inches, one, one and a half to three pounds weight. So they're, they're small, they're pure carnivores. Their, their diet consists almost exclusively of prairie dogs, which of course tells us what their habitat is. It's the North American prairie. But it also tells us that, that this is a species that's a very vulnerable, vulnerable to conditions because because they defend, they depend on only one food source. They're not very adaptable, and in fact, they've had, historically had problems with this. At one point, in the 1980s, they were extinct in the wild. Since then, they've been reestablished through human efforts. So there's a few colonies scattered around appropriate places in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. But is that it? Is it entirely good news? No, not quite. Cute little animal, but we have some more problems coming up. So, once again, the species is dying. So, before I get into the sad news, take it, I'd like to draw your attention to the picture for a moment. You know, I chose this photo because, you know, because at first glance it looks like an animal recoiling in horror, say. But, of course, it's, it's difficult to, assi to assign emotions to, a, to animals in general, and especially to still pictures. So, if we saw a full video, the spirit in the picture is, in fact, not in shock. It, that's more of a dance of excitement, the actual behavior. So just, it will, you know, I still use the photo anyway so you can see it, but a warning about not to take animal emotions too seriously. For now, let's get to the sad news. So as I said, the, the ferrets are dying once again. The, the Blackfoot ferret population peaked around 2013. It was a is around 1,200 in the wild, which is still low. They were still endangered, but it's much worse now. They're down to around 300. And one reason that, that, that that's important these days is because, I mean, obviously extinction of any species is bad, but newsworthy feature is that this, this extinction is mainly down to an, epi an epidemic, and in fact to one of uh, his history's most infamous epidemics, Yersinia pestis, the plague. Yeah, the, sa the same disease that, that wiped out a good chunk of medieval Europe is wiping out the ferrets. And yet, and yet we haven't noticed it. It hasn't much been in the news because our human attention has all been focused on a different epidemic, COVID-19. But the ferret situation is much worse. They're, they're dying. The, the fatality rate for, for ferrets or or for that matter, for their food, the prairie dogs, when either of those species catches the plague, it's near 100% mortality. So they're dying fast. And, and, and although I, I note that, that, this, that this disease that's killing them, it's the same bacteria that was one of the most infamous human epidemics, but it's not really a threat to humans. And the reason why is because uh, the plague is, is uh, transmitted mainly by ant insect bites, fleas. And the fleas that, that bite ferrets are not a species that, that attack humans, and so that, therefore we're very unlikely to catch the plague from the ferrets, but it doesn't help the ferrets, they're dying. They, and it's, it's sad, they need help. So of course, our, our situation, you know, I don't expect you to necessarily have anything that you can personally do about it. Of course, you could donate money to wildlife charities, but I understand you're, you're struggling yourselves. 
with with the current economic conditions. You might not have money to spare. I don't expect you to, but just just remember whenever whenever you're depressed about how how bad the COVID nineteen situation is and all and all the bad conditions we're we're facing the you know the the uh, the isolation the social distancing uh, having to uh, attend school online rather than in, in the actual classroom. Just remember, it could be worse, and for the ferrets, it is. So with that, of course, the, this is academia, so we always cite our sources. So my sources for this video, Wikipedia, of course, perfectly reasonable source for this kind of short thing, if not for a real research paper. Uh, the World Wildlife Fund, repu reputable non-governmental organization, the, the kind of source that you can, that you can rely on for information. And finally, a, a newspaper article. Yeah, I forgot to put the the, the date the date in, in my citation, but in fact, it's September. Yeah, September seventh, seventh revised the ninth this year. So it's it's current. The, the ferrets really are dying now. I I happen to get, been feeding you all data. So so thank you, and with sadness, good. Goodbye, and I'll see you next week with the hopefully more optimistic news about animals. <laughs>